All right, Shalom. First off, give all praise unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rahab Kadash, the bottom to the apostles and the elders of the GMS, the loose and honest to the elect, all the brothers across the four corners who are enduring in truth and sincerity and women and children who follow. Uh, so, you know, we uh, just did a, a beautiful study lesson, um, and we just wanted to, you know, go over it and, you know, edify the Akim on what we just went through. So, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to go over uh, the first part of the first book of Maccabees, chapter 1. <clears throat> um, so, go ahead. on. This is the book of First Maccabees, chapter 1, and verse 1. And it happened that after Alexander, son of Philip, the Macedonian, who came out of the land of Shittim, had smitten Darius, king of, king of the Persians and Medes, that he reigned in his stead, the first over Greece. Right, and that, that Darius that I was talking about is Darius the third that uh we went through our um our studies. Yeah, uh yeah, yeah, you don't have to mention that, just go flow through it. Huh. Go through the time of uh, what is it, three twenty four and three thirty BC. Uh, but three thirty it's about three thirty BC when that war took place. It says, and made many wars and won many strongholds and slew the kings of the earth and went through the ends of the earth and took spoils of many nations and so much that the earth was quiet before him, whereupon he was exalted and his heart was lifted up. And he gathered a mighty strong host and ruled over countries and nations and kings who became tributaries unto him. Right, because Alexander had a vast... Um, territory. It went from all the way, you know, pretty much the Atlantic Ocean all the way to India, you know, and uh, as, um, Egypt and Af Africa and all of that. So uh, it was pretty, pretty big. Go ahead. It says, and he gathered a mighty strong host and ruled over countries and nations and kings who became tributaries unto him. And after these things, he fell sick and perceived that he should die. Wherefore he called his servants such as were honorable and had been brought up uh, with him from his youth and part of his kingdom among them while he was yet alive. Right. I, I, I do want to say that the, uh, the rulership of Alexander the Great, as the brother uh, pretty much went over, is you know, the Mediterranean Sea, um, Arabian Sea. So you're talking about... Uh, Talking about Macedonia, Asia Minor, uh, that's more of Turkey. You got Egypt, Mesopotamia, you got Assyria, Armenia, Media, uh, Persia. Media is north, Persia is uh, south, which is the Medial Persian Empire, which consisted of Babylon. And then uh, Arania, Arania, and uh, Bactria, Sogdiana, and then um, parts of India. So, because Ariana is west of India. It's like uh, it's like uh, uh, west of the Indus River, you know. So that's that's pretty much the area he ruled. I just wanted to, because uh, they was they was uh, this little uh, website that I'm on. They was bringing out the fact that how fast, you know, what I'm saying he conquered as well. It said Alexander then is seen as one of the greatest conquerors of all time because in only 13 years as King, he was able to conquer an empire of over two million square miles that stretched from Greek, well, you know, like the brother just brought out, you know, and that's another thing, you know, uh, that why he was, you know, such a great conqueror uh, of his war tactics and things like that, you know what I'm saying? And he did it in a short amount of time, you know the what I'm saying? I, so, the most I put the spirit on him to do that. I wanted to say that, but I didn't know if you wanted to, oh, you know. No, yeah, yeah, no. But kind, yeah, that's exactly what it was. So prophecy can be fulfilled at the end of the day. Yep. Kind, kind. There's a difference between a blessing and a covenant. You know, <laughs> the Lord blessed Esau. Hey, uh, 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 um, Isaac blessed Esau. You know, he gave me a blessing, gave him the fatness of the earth. Right? That was the beginning of the fatness of the earth, it began with Alexander. To the sword. <laughs> yeah, the of the sword. That's how you got the <laughs> well, kind, yeah. You, know? you got you about to get it? 
uh, yeah, this is a, uh, well, no, this is a, uh, in Daniel. This is um, Daniel chapter 8, verse 5. It says, And I was considering, behold, and he go came from the west, and on the face of the whole earth, and touched not the ground, and the goat had a notable horn between his eyes. Uh, yeah. and that's, yeah, that's just talking about Alexander, uh, that, that he go coming from the west, you know, um, basically gaining that control, you know. Uh, back in the book of 1st Maccabees uh, chapter 1 and verse 7 it says so Alexander reigned 12 years and then died just like the brother said you know in that short period of time he did all that conquering and ruling and his servants bear rule everyone in his place yeah hey hey yeah. hey the, the president got 8 years you know <laughs> technically if you want two terms and they always say, oh, he, got, he only had eight years. <laughs> yes. Shit. Alexander then took over the world in 12. In three terms. terms. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In three terms. You know what I'm saying? He then, he, he changed the world in, in, in three presidential terms. You know? I believe Roosevelt had three terms. He's the only president that had three terms. Okay. Still didn't do shit. Oh, yeah. He didn't do shit. And in still that like, time, yo. Still ain't taking it. Still ain't taking it. It says, and his servants bear rule everyone in his place. And after his death, they all put crowns upon themselves. So did their sons after them many years, and evils were multiplied in the earth. Right. So that's when the, the empire was split in the fours. We have the Ptolemaic Empire. From uh, Egypt, the, okay. Cassa yep. Sorry, the Cassander uh, Empire, which was Macedonia, the Seleucus Empire, which was Syria and pretty much that Middle Eastern uh, area, and the Lysim I always mess that one up. Uh, Lysimachus, uh, which was uh, uh, Thrace. Yes, right. Cappadocia, Turkey, you know, that's Asia Minor, right? Uh -huh. You know, it's like Cappadocia. So you got Macedonia, which is because um, to the left of Macedonia is Italy and Rome, which is where Rome. Rome wasn't a part of that. You know, you got the Greco-Roman Empire, but that's after all this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that Macedonia is talking about uh, 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 Sparta, um, Greece, things of that area. But then when you go to basically Turkey is what lies to make is what's ruling. You know what I'm saying? And, and um, it, it throughout the Assyrian Wars, it basically broke down to Ptolemaic and the Seleucid Empire because they eventually started taking over um, the other ones and, and just boiled down from four to two. It says, um, and evils were multiplied in the earth. And yeah, 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 hey, let's let's get let's get uh what's it Malachi? Uh, uh Micah. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, this is uh Malachi chapter one verse four. It says, Whereas Edom said we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus said that. And that's the mindset of Esau. No matter what happened, they always say, you were, yeah, America's falling out of control. Yeah, it's going to be an uprising. Yeah, anarchy. But they always believe that they're going to fix this. Okay? That's the spirit of Esau. And that's something that, you know, just a note to the wives of the brothers that are on, are on the highways. When you got Esau agreeing with you, tell his ass that his kingdom ain't going to rise up anymore. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then you're going to see his horns. His horns is going to come out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll bring you down. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it says, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus said the most high of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. And they shall call them the border of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord had indignation forever. Which is righteous anger. Indignation is righteous anger. So... Can you read that again in Maccabees, Bible for Shah, brother? Nine. It says, um, Maccabees 1 and 9, it says, After which death they put crowns upon themselves, so did their sons after them many years, and evils were multiplied in the earth. Evils multiplied the other border of wickedness. 
And not only the evils multiplied, but it was actually multiplied. Because it goes in that they built a place of exercise and things like that. Uh -huh. Which we're not going to go into. We specifically going into the, the the process, you know. We can go to that also just later on, you know. Five going for Daniel's eleven. Uh, Lord, Lord, you know, next time. Uh, this already is already on the same. You know. This um. Uh, verse ten it says, and there came out of them a wicked root. Antiochus, surname Epiphanes, son of Antiochus the king, who had been been in hostage at Rome, and he reigned in the hundred and thirtieth, hundred thirty and seventh year of the kingdom of the Greeks. Yeah, that Antiochus Epiphanes, that's the um, the Antiochus that's infamous for you know being the, pretty much the most wicked nigga of all time. <laughs> he did a lot of uh, conquering. He also did a lot of murdering. He sacked the temple. Um, you know, killed a lot of Israelites. Um, he's very hateful towards Yahshua, man. Um, yeah, it's you know, yeah, he was so hateful that towards Yahshua that he ignored the surrounding cities, which allowed the city to rebel, which caused him to take part of his army to uh, 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 quench that rebellion. But ultimately, that's when the Maccabees um, got their upper hand, and then when that happened. His ass got sick, started shitting, shitting through his pores, man. You know, they, they said they says is uh, uh, <clears throat> they said it was like a, a, a it was a bowel disease, like a colon cancer type of deal, to where his bowels were backed up and he he started um, the scripture say the the smell came through his pores. But a disease that goes back to that is more of a colon cancer or a bowel disease, you know. Shit backed up. Yep, shit backed up and it starts shit will start coming through, seeping through your pores. You'll start vomiting them <laughs> in, in projectile fashion. You know what I'm saying? To the point it'll 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 fly like a water gun and hit the wall. You know. Yeah, it's yeah. so bad that he couldn't even st stand the smell of it, man. Yeah. <laughs> Just, just imagine he, he can't stand the smell of his own self. You can't keep your yeah. own company when your life's done. <laughs> yep, yep. But it's beautiful in the same sense, honestly. Real bad spirit. This is um the book of Daniel, chapter 8, and verse 5. So I already read verse 5, but we're going to read it again. We're going to read it down because it's going to go into everything we just spoke of. Come, come. It says, um, and as I was considering, behold, and he go came from came from the west of the face of the whole earth and touched not the ground. And the goat had a notable horn between his eyes. And he came to the ram that had two horns, which I had seen standing before the river, and ran unto him in the fury of his power. And I saw him come close unto the ram, and he was moved with, with choler against him, and smote the ram, and uh, brake his two horns, and there was no power in the ram, to stand before him. Yeah, he was. Um, you get that word "color." Uh, Daniel eight and uh, seven. Back to the uh, Hebrew word marar, which means to be bitter, to show bitterness, to make bitter, make bitter, uh, embitter oneself, to be enraged, to be strong or strengthened. Right, it is a strong hatred. So it says, I, and I saw him, saw him come close unto the ram, and he was moved with. Um, which with, with um, was it strong uh, with anger, or with uh, with with hatred against him, and smote the ram, and break his two horns, and there was no power in the ram to stand before him. Right. So keep on, keep on. But he cast him down to the ground, and stamped stamped upon him, and there was none that could deliver the ram out of his hand. Okay, keep on. Therefore, 
the he goat waxed very great, and when he was strong, the great horn was broken. And for it came up four notable ones toward the four winds of heaven. All right, so that's Alexander going down, and then the kingdom being split into the four generals that uh, we went through, Ptolemy, Seleucus, uh, Lysimachus, and uh, Cassander. Fine. And, uh, and out of, uh, you want to go back? Yeah, no, no, keep going. Fine, fine. It says, and out of one of them came forth a little horn, which waxed exceeding great towards the south, and towards the east, and towards the pleasant land. Right, and that little horn was Antiochus' epiphany. Fine. And uh, go ahead, read 10 and, with it. Fine. And it, waxed, and it waxed great even to the host of heaven, and it cast down some of the hosts, <clears throat> and of the stars, uh, and of the stars to the ground, and stamped upon them. And that's what we were talking about. He was um, fierce against the Israelites, against the saints, because it's his, the stars. And we know that, you know, according to Revelation, the stars of heaven is talking about uh, us. It's talking about Yashala. Okay. You got the anybody says, else? That, that pleasant land, you know, it was just like, just, just to um, add a side note to what you were saying, it's, it's Jerusalem. Uh, you know that's that's the land that's the that's the most highs that's that's considered the most highs um inheritance that's the pleasant land, all right. Remember, he got he got one one people, one bird, one plant, one land, you know, etc. So yeah, he, he, he was favoritized. Wow. So he dwells he dwelleth in Jerusalem. You know, <laughs> that's the pleasant that's land. Word. Yeah, I mean, that's that's really all um, I had, and I really wanted to go through. Anybody else get anything? Any icing no, on the cake? No, that's, that's um, I mean, there's, there's a whole lot to this. There's a whole <laughs> lot. A this, whole heap of information. Yeah, this is just going into, you know, we're just explaining what happened from Alexander to, uh, to Antiochus. And there's a whole lot in between that, you know what I'm saying? And through the spirit. We're just going through First Maccabees one through ten, but I want to go into you know there's Heliodorus, there's Antiochus the Great, there's you know uh, 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 Antiochus um, um, Ptolemy the Fourth, there's the the league between Egypt and Rome, um, there's you know why there was a beef and and what Israel had to do with this in the middle of everything really has something to do with you know because uh, uh, the Ptolemaic Empire had control of the Israelite empire or the Israelite area, but then as they war back and forth, it bounced back and forth. Uh, same as um, the reason, let's go into the reason before we leave, the reason why um, Israel began to lose their heritage because during the war, Antiochus uh, uh, the Great was pushing on Israel to become Hellenistic, you know what I'm saying? Just to, to support the uh, the places of exercise and things like that. But they basically the war before Antiochus Epiphanes, Antiochus the Great was the the uh, the ruler that encouraged Israel to become Hellenistic, <laughs> right? But the uh, uh, a part of the Israelites fled into Egypt in order to keep their, their covenant, okay, through, uh, what's it, uh, I don't want to say it right, it's not Ananias, it's, uh, uh Onias, Onias, oh. Onias, you know, but, uh, matter of fact, we'll get into that, that that's, that's a whole, you know, that's a whole, but I don't want to just run, run rush through that either, you know, so, Lord's will that he'll provide us the opportunity to keep on going through it, you know, Lord's will, we'll do it tomorrow, we'll go with the Anias in, in in that situation tomorrow. Hey, you know, um, you know, so I think it's better. So uh, with that being said, I want to give all praise unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Bukhar Kadash, the Bible to the elders and the apostles of GMS, salutes and honors to the elect, all the brothers across the four corners who are enduring in truth and sincerity, and the women and children who follow. Shalom. Shalom.